I knew that there was something in me that needed to be expressed. Mm. When I was nine, I would write uh, science fiction books. <laughs> I still have them. And I loved to, I always wanted to be a performer. Um, I always wanted to um, write. Uh, I loved, um, actually, I wanted to be a nurse at one point. So that healing part was there. I did, was a candy striper. So I knew that there were like elements of me that like that was nurturing and, and creative. And I just, you know, I went, didn't grow up in, a, in an environment in my culture where you can create your life, whatever you want to do. <clears throat> you can, um, you know, have your own business. You could be, a, it's get married, have babies, you know. <laughs> Maybe you could do that on the side. And so... Um, there was no, no entrepreneurs in your family? Nope, nope, no entrepreneurs. Um, most of my family didn't even go to college. Mm. And a lot of, well, most of the women got married, you know. Um, some of my cousins went to college, and, uh, but a lot of them were moms, and they stayed home. And, <clears throat> and, um, and so I thought, well, this is my, my lot. So mm. you have these, like, beautiful gifts and creativity. And, like, a little girl, I was so excited about, like, you know, I wanted to create things. And, um, and then the world is telling you, this is the way it works in the world. You have to get married. You're not going to, you know, you can't do those things and make money. There's practicalities to the life. And I love Young's saying, he says that if you, um, if you ask the world who you are and you don't know, the world will ask you, I keep messing this up. The world will ask you who you are. And if you don't know, the world will tell you. And so I, um, kept fighting this with the world's telling me who I am and it was like this like you said that rebellious part of me and then through that um, rebellion of I don't know what I need to do I know there's something to be expressed in me and then um, it, it was like a search for that thing and what I realized it's not one thing a lot of people think it's one thing, like, oh, I'm going to be a coach or I'm going to be an artist. They think it's the profession, It's the right? profession or the career or even the talent that you have. Like, I'm going to be a singer. And that's not your purpose. You're, it's, it's a way you express your purpose because you can be an artist, a coach, a singer, but you can do it from ego and you can play by the world's rules. Mm. And it's just a job. But if you are aligned with your true self, if you know who you are, the singing becomes a divine expression. <clears throat> Coaching becomes a divine expression. And um, doing your art becomes a divine expression. And then, it, and then it doesn't mean that you don't do it and make money, but you, you put the divine expression first. And I think people do it the other way around, that they think, well, if I make a lot of money, this is the, the idea. <laughs> you see these coaches out there, they make a lot of money, they're sitting on their yachts and, you know, taking two months vacations in this exotic places and taking pictures and selfies and you think, wow, I'm going to make a lot of money and then I'm going to be able to do my artwork. I'm going to make a lot of money and then I'm going to be able to do write my book. <laughs> and uh, it's, a, it's like all backwards. It's, it's, mm. it's like you're waiting for, like you're, you're trying to do something for, it's just like finding another job. So, so, right? uh, so you're saying the, the purpose is not in the profession or the mm. activity that you're doing, but it's in that you're expressing something deeper in you, yes. the, the soul or, or your higher nature or something, right? And I do feel, yes, and I do feel that um, we do have d gifts that we were brought mm. into. So it's not that you don't, it's not, but that's through your gifts, you can, like I said, you can express it from your purpose, which is, your divine expression, or you can express it from your ego. Yeah. So uh, some people are really smart with numbers, and they, they're really number people, or they're doctors, and they're really good at science, and they're, they're expressing that part of themselves, but they're not fulfilled because they're doing it for the money versus for, um, because that's all they, mm. you know, the world is set up that way. But if you, if you can align that with inside, you could still be in your corporate job and s express that divine expression as long as you're not attached to that expression. So you don't right. have to be an entrepreneur to be, live your purpose. But that it's really sense. about yeah. who, how you're doing it more yeah. than what you're doing. 